So it's like if you don't make them hustle through that, it won't weed out the ones that aren't going to do anything anyways. Ultimately, you decide if you're going to live or not. Am I just going to get through life or am I going to live? Because it really, it's a fucking choice. I mean, you, you literally decide that. And some people decide it when they're 70 and it's too late. Junior, do you think that a person could actually be beat to death with a Boris spacer if it was a one inch with an eight by 6.5 bolt pattern? Wait a minute, guy, I'm coming to you next. I'm gonna change the question so that you can't possibly succeed. The game's a pong. Uh, views from yesterday's upload. 12.5. 50% viewership. Use a calculator, you're gonna hurt yourself. Boost fails. Oh yeah, shit, fuck ass. Everything. So my focus today is I want to see the upload to Facebook checklist. But this is why we do this. So that we, you guys finding out that he has an old version and he just needs a new version. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's how you win. But there needs to be a specific that you can't use asterisks and pretend it's not a swear word because they see right through that. They look for that. Their little program ski has all of the fucking how would how would stupid people try to hide a swear word and they're on to us let's move on how are we doing for respect and positivity great the good news is we gave a man a raise yesterday and mario a raise yesterday what's the next video to shoot so at bro media you want to talk about who's going to shoot that if we end up doing it yep. dream job draft ready for noon today it's up until 3 a.m so it's ready now so we can watch it as a team Sweet. Fuller must want to stay another week. Because I went to bed three hours ago. Oh, he was joking about that. Apparently, I should have done these fucking upload to Facebook stand to work like I promised. No text and no swears was my focus. I'm such a loser. Hey, man, you didn't fail. I did. I failed you, bro. You know what I had on my list to do this week? Verify the uh, checklist. Facebook upload. No text and no swearing. That was all I had to do this week. <laughs> this shit's on me, bro. Isn't it I suck. <laughs> you actually Got her. Sorry, Anything else for me, sir? No, I think you're good. Yeah, don't let us do stupid things. What were your total views on the last video you uploaded for Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram? Hey, what are you doing? It's personal time. I'm trying to have a meeting with you. Ordering more car parts, man. Oh, sweet. Do it. Okay, moving on. Here's what happens. When I don't do my daily stat sheet, I get a big fat loser written all the way across that day because yesterday I was a loser. And I had just shipped boxes, I guess, for the whole day. But hey, you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win every day. The only thing I had today is our leadership meeting at 11 o'clock and I canceled our three o'clock appointment to go see the new building. I feel it's too risky and short term, so I'm gonna rent next door, keep it, uh, short-term thinking and watch for the ultimate property to come up, whether it be a building or we will build our dream. I had on my daily stat sheet this week to audit the standard work for uploading to Facebook with an emphasis on swear words and text on the cover photo. Guess what we failed at last night? Exactly what I didn't fucking do all fucking week. And I had to put you suck, right? I suck right on that box. This is my first mistake ever. No, you had something with three X's. New day! <laughs> new day! I, I'll tell you just like I tell my son. Every day is a new day. We found out though he had the older checklist. So oh, because okay. that happened, we asked the question, and then we find out he's got an older vision, he gives him a new revision, we're good to go. Okay. Morning, John. Once you get square away, I got a couple questions on some shipping stuff. Junior, are you ready for me? Hey, Amen. Anybody? Yellow. 
Yellow. What's going on? Did you ever watch Billy Madison? No, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I stopped looking. Uh, it's a little bit old. I wonder if they don't have it anywhere. Cool. You got that lease I sent over, right? So I got a, I got some digging to do. I just wanted to let you know that I'm on it, working on it. So yeah, let me uh, <laughs> let me do some um, maneuvering here, and uh, I'll let you know when I get an update. Let me know what you find out for the thousand and demanding the full inspection by a, a known yep. company or a company that I choose. Okay. And if it starts getting yep. weird, I'm just gonna back out. All right, let me um, let me work on it here and I'll let you know what I come up with. Sounds good, sir. Thank you. All right, All right bye. Yep. Nothing can ever be straightforward. Ship done Saturday, ship done Sunday. Spent the whole weekend here, I think. Fucking killer wax. Hiding up here. Here's 12. Set that fucker down. Don't fuck with me, Fuller. Kirk's right here, just jump on video. You ready, Benny, can you hear us? I think I'm gonna have this meeting and then bug out to head up north. So we gonna have it early? No. We're gonna have it fast. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it 11.15. That's all I have. Anybody have anything else for me or for each other? He mulliganed me. Oh, 17.20. Oh, 18.20. Are you trying to make it close? Yeah. Oh, 19.20. Wait, did you get the truth now? No, because it's still game point. Damn it. <laughs> Comeback championship game. John, tell us how you feel. How do you feel? It was awesome. I don't do things because you're not paying attention, Buller. I need to stop collecting clothes at work. I need to do some work at home tonight, Fuller. So I'm basically gonna do father of the year until my son goes to bed and then go back to CEO of the year. You mean you don't work nine to five? I do. My first shift. Then I start second shift. That goes from eight to 11. Wonder if I have any keys or anything. Yep. <coughs> huh? My Hummer? Did you know it was there, Fuller? Yep. You son of a bitch, you. <laughs> he was gonna follow me around the building, he fucking knew it. Turn on music, but not kill us. He's coming up hot. He's coming on my side. My side. You're gonna miss him. <laughs> That's awesome. that sell buildings don't like us. Because I would make a really stupid decision in a hurry right now. If I saw the perfect place for a couple million dollars, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. We just literally have been trying to force fit. And then so if one little thing doesn't turn out, it's easy to just walk away. This one is another force fit. This is not a, an obvious fit. Beautiful, huh? Lots of traffic. Awesome, you own all the way to that street. My house is one mile that way and Soleil is right there. Wait until you see this side. This is the cool side. It's gonna all depend on what that office space looks like. Told you, this is one of those ones where you see it and you just fall in love the minute you see it. Hi there. Sean. Mark Barris. Mark Barris. Hey, Sean. Yo. What up, dog? 
Just living the dream. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So what do you think? What are we going to do? I've got to talk to Tim yet. I've been uh, scrambling this morning. Got a lot going on. But uh, overnight didn't go well for the Breezewood location. I've just got to okay. pick Tim's brain on this uh, spending a million dollars on a place that still doesn't have high visibility versus renting yep. next door and spending the next Make two years finding the ultimate dream place. Yeah, let me know and then we'll get some paperwork rolling. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll talk right. soon. Talk right. to you later. Bye. Bye -bye. I want to have a powwow about shows. I think where you guys are going, we should just fucking run with it. Let's just talk about it, bro media. Timmy, let's hang out before we get so busy we don't hang out. So for a t-shirt, I was sponsoring 35 Instagram pages up to 10 to 15,000 followers per page because it wasn't cool to give these kids money yet. Now you have to give them a billion dollars and it's a worthless investment in my opinion. I always take the, the, the low ball where you just have to put the effort forward, but then you don't have to spend the money. Just like Instagram, I don't care about being shouted out. My Instagram page is big enough, it's 75,000. Not feeling so good, Ben. No, I got a little cold ski, but I think I'm on the on the rebound here. What do you think about this $2 million building? I'm not against it in any way, yeah. I'm just surprised. So the beauty of this property, the whole concept is this. If we buy the right lot and we build this property, <laughs> Fuller's crabby this morning. So if we build this place that's completely adaptable, which if you've looked at that plan, it's basically set up to do a multitude of things. That's why it's so open. Because we'll be a m fucking mega machine in two years. Yeah. Then we'll be ready for this. That's my vote. We just gotta find the land. W when I started all of this, that's what I was thinking I was gonna do, is I was gonna like do a step-by-step. -step. So here's how you go to Wisconsin, what is it called, wisconsinsomething.gov, yeah. and you can register your LLC. That gives you a social security number, your TIN, and then you can take that and put that, file that with the IRS, which then gets you your tax IDs and all of that gets set up. It's 175 bucks, you do it all online. Here's how you do it. Then you wanna go out and get a QuickBooks online, you know, account for 29.95, and then you wanna start, and I was gonna show them how to set it up, and I'm like, no. If they can't figure that out, they aren't gonna start a business. They're not gonna do their own taxes. No, they're not gonna do anything. So it's like, if you don't make them hustle through that, it won't weed out the ones that aren't gonna do anything anyways. Because I was gonna, then I was gonna sell an online course that showed people how to do that. And I'm like, I don't wanna be responsible for starting a bunch of shitty businesses. Because <laughs> then I would feel guilty, like I helped you start something that you're gonna fail at. It was so hard to start my first business and I learned so much. I spent um, 6,000 on lawyer fees just to have them copy terms of use off of other people's websites, change out our name and sell it to me for $1,200. And so, you know, we had to go through that and we had to learn that. We also had to learn you can't pay a programmer 100 bucks an hour to be a web company. If you're a web company and you don't have a web guy on your team, you're, you're gonna last like six weeks because you're gonna run out of money. You're paying for everything. It's like starting an automotive shop and then paying somebody to do all the installs, like everything to pay for the building, everything. You can't outsource your core business. And I had to learn that lesson. So it's like, so I was gonna make videos on that and it would be like a step by step by step and you would get some of the content free and then pay to get in. But 95% of people that are gonna watch that are gonna fail. I don't wanna be responsible for helping them start, waste all of their money, and then end up failing because I made it too easy to get in. And I think if I wouldn't have screwed all that up with Book Cairo, I wouldn't have been smart enough to do it so much better the second time. It's like I paid for my education, but the lawyers got the money instead of the schools. <laughs> oh, have I done some stupid shit? And it's because you want to be a big corporation, so you're like, you, you, I got to do, do all the corporate stuff. All yeah. money, right? And I, I used a ton of time and energy doing that right up front before I even was making any money. So we, we all threw in 10,000 bucks, we had 40,000 bucks. We spent 20,000 before we went to our first client. You hustle. The guy selling CDs out of the back of his car with no insurance, no license, is half the stuff is stolen copyright material. He's the one that does it right because he's testing it right and he's testing it. And if it doesn't work, you get out. It costs you nothing. Book Cairo is easy. You know how you buy a plane ticket? You just go on to Travelocity and it shows you all the airlines and it shows you what seats are available and what the pricing is. I did that for chiropractors. So if it's Sunday at midnight and your neck goes out, 
you could have an appointment for 8 a.m. by the time they wake up. It would automatically fax, because they use fax machines, it automatically fax them that you booked an appointment for 8 a.m. So when they come in the office, they're like, oh geez, Susie's gonna be here in 10 minutes. It worked like a fucking dream. We went down and we had our first clinic paid $50 per doctor per month. Our first clinic was $200 a month. Very first one we pitched. We we're like, oh my God, we're gonna be so fucking rich. There are 400,000 chiropractors in, the, in this country. So we did 400,000 times 50 per month. Bajillions, I believe it comes out to. So we start doing it, we go and meet up with these docs and you know, they're like, ah, computers, e, e, computers. They wouldn't work with us because they didn't see the benefit. They said, well, we'll just make an online portal ourselves if we wanna do that and then we'll collect that money. And we're like, great, so now we're competing with them. And the secretaries are like, I don't want Dr. Double Book, then I have to deal with that. So if it's not gonna to talk to it, we're not doing that. So we got this other clinic, they signed up 20 docs, we let them do it for free, they were our beta site, got them going, it was working great. We thought we were gonna do this again. We actually lowered the price to $9.95 a month per doc, so that it was super attractive. Started getting a couple people signing up and Five companies came out with the exact same software for free. They're like, you can just you have it free. We'll sell advertising. Oh, okay. We'll just sell the top spot of when you do the search. We'll put you first if you pay us 200 a month. So they turned it into an e-commerce. Then what they did is they said, or an advertising, uh, e-marketing. And we're like, let's just get the fuck out of here. This place is crowded as fuck. So all of a sudden there's 50 people standing next to you and there's no space. Because there's a company called ZocDoc that did the same thing, uh, the online booking. And they were who I was researching and following, but they weren't doing chiropractors. Well, they were doing millions. I haven't looked them up lately to see if they made it, but they were going to develop the entire, they found out they had to develop the entire practice software. And then I went, now we're in overhead. Got a hold of the accountant and said, well, I think I just lost $40,000. Is that good for my tax write-off? And she's like, actually, yeah. I said, good because I need a little pick-me-up <laughs> she said you'll get like 20% mm, of your money back the rest you lost it's gone burned so I kept a couple book Cairo Cairo hats and um, t-shirts and I've got them in a bin downstairs I should wear I'll wear one tomorrow but it was fun I I've learned so much oh no I got against that redheaded dude I have things against it, it has nothing to do with his hair color it's his messy bedroom. It, there's just, it, you know, this thing, he just floats it around. I don't know if it does anything. It has been here for three months. This thing, I believe, is a science experiment. I'm going back to work. Centuries through history, I'm alive. Right. I'm always